To many, the origin of the Bible can be summed up as follows. A mere translation of a translation of an interpretation of an oral tradition. And therefore, a book with no credibility or connection to the original text. Actually, the foregoing statement is a common misunderstanding of both Christians and non-Christians alike. Translations such as the King James Version are derived from existing copies of ancient manuscripts such as the Hebrew Masoretic text which is Old Testament and the Greek Textus Receptus which is New Testament and are, and are not translations of the text translated from other interpretations. The primary differences between today's Bible translations are merely related to how translators interpret a word or sentence from the original language of the text source. The question comes the reliability of ancient manuscript. The question is raised against the reliability of ancient manuscripts. Here, if we carefully evaluate what is available to us, then we cannot deny the reliability of the Bible because there are more than 14,000 existing Old Testament manuscripts and fragments copied throughout the Middle East, Mediterranean and European regions that agree dramatically with each other. In addition, these texts agree with the Septuagint version of the Old Testament which was translated from Hebrew to Greek sometime during the 3rd century before Christ. The Dead Sea Scrolls discovered in Israel in the 1940s and 50s also provide phenomenal evidence for the reliability of the ancient transmission of the Jewish scriptures. The Hebrew scribes who copied the Jewish scriptures dedicated their lives to preserving the accuracy of the holy books. These scribes went to phenomenal lengths to ensure manuscript reliability. They were highly trained meticulously observed counting every letter and word and paragraph against master scrolls. A single error would require the immediate destruction of the entire text. The manuscript evidence for the New Testament is also dramatic with over 5300 known copies and fragments in the original Greek, nearly 800 of which were copied before 1080. Some manuscript texts date to the early 2nd and 3rd centuries with the time between the original autographs and our earliest existing copies being a remarkably short, just 60 years. Interestingly, the, this manuscript evidence far surpasses the manuscript reliability of other ancient writings that we trust as authentic every day. Look at this comparison. Julius Caesar's The Gallic Wars we have 10 manuscripts remaining, with the earliest one dating to 1000 years after the original autograph. Pliny's Younger's History, we have 7 manuscripts, and the earliest one is dating to 750 years after the original autograph. Same way, other so-called historical documents, which we consider as the authentic, but their earliest manuscript is sometimes 1300 years, sometimes 1400, sometimes 1500 years after the original autograph. And yet we consider them as authentic. Homer's Iliad, the most renowned book of ancient Greece, has 643 copies of manuscript support. In those copies, there are 764 disputed lines of text as compared to 40 lines in all the New Testament manuscripts. In fact, many people are unaware that each of William Shakespeare's 37 plays written in, in the 1600s have gaps in the surviving manuscripts, forcing scholars to fill in the blanks. This pales in textual comparison with the over 5,300 copies and fragments of the New Testament that together assure us that nothing's been lost. In fact, all of the New Testament except 11 verses can be reconstructed 
from the writings of the early church fathers in the second and third centuries. The origin of the Bible is the God. It is a historical book that is backed by archaeology and a prophetic book that has lived up to all its claims thus far. The Bible is God's letter to humanity collected into 66 books written by 40 divinely inspired writers over a period of over 1600 years. The claim of divine inspiration may seem dramatic to unrealistic to some, but a careful and honest study of biblical scriptures will show them to be true. Powerfully, the Bible validates its divine authorship through fulfilled prophecies. An astonishing 668 prophecies have been fulfilled and none have ever been proven false. God decided to use prophecy as his primary test of divine authorship and an honest study of biblical prophecy will compellingly show the supernatural origin of the Bible. Skeptics must ask themselves, would the gambling industry even exist if people could really tell the future? Again, no other holy book comes even close to the Bible in the amount of evidence supporting its credibility, authenticity and divine authorship. If you like to know more information about origin of the Bible or if you would like to discuss it, kindly email me at truthofjesus at gmail.com truthofjesus at gmail.com Thank you and God bless you.